Hi, and welcome to the very first Clutterbugs blog. Uh, my name is Cassandra, and I decided to start a blog because I absolutely love organizing, which is really embarrassing and makes me a giant loser, I know, but it also has drastically improved my lifestyle. I live in a 900 square foot home, I run a daycare out of this home, and my husband works out of this home and runs a business as well, so we need every square inch to be running efficiently and easily accessible. So I'll quickly show you today, we're going to do step one, which is the closet. Now of course the very first step of any organization is purging. You need to get rid of anything that you don't love or don't wear often, doesn't fit. Just get it out. I know that is absolutely the hardest step. Once you have step one done, we can move on to step two. So here we go. First, I'm videoing it myself so it's all crazy, I apologize. This is my room. Just to give you a sense on how tiny it is, we actually don't even have space for a dresser. We have two end tables, the bed, and an upright armoire where we um, hold socks, underwear, and my dresses and sweaters go in there. The very first step you want to do when organizing your closet is throw out every wire hanger. You ever seen that movie, Mommy Dearest? No wire hangers! It's true. You absolutely do not want wire hangers in your home. So the reason for that is they get tangled, they wreck your clothes, and they just aren't very pretty. So all those wire hangers go. These, I use the very inexpensive white plastic ones. They are cheap and cheerful, and they work great. So the first thing you want to do is take everything out of your closet, sort it by, I sort it by nice clothes I don't wear very often, my everyday shirts, and then of course the long sleeve shirts. And I tried color coordinating, everything looks black. I'm fat, fat people have a lot of black. Don't judge me. So there's my closet. Excellent. The best tip when taking your clothes, when you pick a shirt and you take it off the hanger is to move that empty hanger right over here. And the reason is when you're putting away laundry, you just grab all of those stacks that are already right there, empty hangers, put them by your laundry basket, throw them on, and then throw them back in your closet. Bing, bang, boom. Saves you a lot of time. Next, because I don't have a dresser, I bought these totes from the dollar store. Love them. Dollar totes. I labeled them because I am a giant loser, but they easily fit. You just fold up your clothes and snug them in here. I have pajamas. I have jeans. They actually hold five pairs of jeans. I have seven pairs of dress pants, 15 t-shirts. Yes, I counted. I'm a loser. Lots of my clothes, bathing suits, and clothes that are too small because I just can't get rid of them. I picked a few. I saved a few clothes that are too small. So the great thing what I love about these is you pull them out. So when I'm putting away clothes, I can pull out the bin. I can set it by the laundry basket too. I don't have a lot of walking. I'm lazy and it's faster and your closet will look all pretty and organized this whole closet makeover was was done for less than ten dollars with the totes and buying new hangers that's your tip for the day we'll see you tomorrow have a great day